All right, guys, welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Gollum. Hope you are all doing well. So, we're on to chapter eight. We escaped the elves with Mel. Um, and now we're in Mirkwood. So, bit of a change up again. I think I'm just meant to be walking forward. I'm not entirely sure. Listen. What is that? Mr. Men. Toothlings. Toothlings? Go climb a tree and find some Lairo for me. Lairo? Lairo. You don't know Lairo? It's a, a golden lichen. Looks like a dwarven beard. What's the elf want it for? You'll see. Find the golden lichen for Mel. Which is not very nuanced. Well, this one's orange. Know, could climb on. Ah, and it stinks. Be cautious. The truthlings will lull your thoughts. Let tongue speak true, whether you like it or not. Take a bite of Laira. However. Then their spell is gone. And so is most of their marvel. So the real question is, do you trust me? <laughs> it's a trick, my precious. How could it be a trick? I am giving you a choice. Well, I've got no reason not to trust her. Don't want strange Lairo. Think. The elf could ask us anything. Anything. See, if we eat, then thou knows too. She'll know all our thoughts and plans. Oh, and what if it asks how Smeagol wants to break her little neck? Mel trusts us. She wouldn't ask that. Are you ready? Well, I won. Not eating it. Good choice. Come on, I want to listen to them. Wait for Mel. No bridge here. I know these waters. Let me calm them down a little. Nice. She's willing to let us cross. Mel comes angry rivers. Lead Mel past the true things. Oh, one more thing. Time indeed. You won't remember anything you told me. What did it say, my precious? What is going on? Did they just force us to tell the truth or anything so, she asked? How do you feel? <sighs> My head's nasty mouthy tricks us. I wouldn't need truthlings to know the truth. You're hissing. When you lie, you always start hissing. Schmiegel doesn't hiss. Oh, 
Right. I don't even know what I'm meant to be doing this. I'm just hitting the bells for the sake of it. It must have been beautiful. Can you ring in? Tower head. This used to be a bell tower in the old days. We should be safe here for a while. We are far from Smeagol. Come this way. Come out with stones. Let's get inside. We can spend the night here. <laughs> oh, there we go. Pity we can't hear the bells high up in the tower. Can you see the moon? Don't fear. The white face will not find her. But I'd wish to be found. What's her shape now? Lil must be hungry. Perhaps could Smeagol find some eggs? Is, is it waxing? It can't be full yet. <laughs> no. No nice moon. Smeagol goes and finds tasty things for Mel. Don't stay too long. The woods can be fickle. Elves and men marched against the Dark Lord together. So few of us were destined to return. <laughs> It mustn't talk about him. Oh, there's a ledge there. Is that meant to be the Eye of Sauron? Like the moon, you are strange. That's what Deagle always said. A little strange, yes, perhaps we are. That's quite all right. Why is it? Oh, oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. And say, so why is the game now giving me tutorials on how to backwards jump eight chapters in? jump nice mushroom else likes mushrooms maybe what does Mel eat precious like it she eats it doesn't she mm. Keep looking, precious. Like it. She eats it, doesn't she, the wicked elf woman? Lures us into nasty glowworms. <coughs> Snails. Elves eat snails, yeah. don't they? Hmm. Perhaps not. Enough food for one night. Maybe we find some more. I've never read a snail. What has it asked us, eh? We want to know what did Sneagle tell her. But it doesn't matter because tomorrow, after she opens the breach for us through treacherous haze, what then? Break her nasty little neck. Oh, can I not go back this way? Oh, damn. Right. Looks like I gotta go that other way then. Oh, that was close.
<laughs> so big. Caterpillar. But perhaps we find something tastier for Mel. But the elf knows mighty spells. Perhaps it makes Smeagol blind. Wait, I don't think I'm going. Am I going the right yes, way? But blind. Wait until it's weary. Wait until it's sleepy. And then crack. Oh, well, here we go. Oh, I did not do that. That was not me that did that. But the elf knows mighty spells. Perhaps it makes Smeagol blind too. Clever elf, yes, but blind. Wait until it's weary. Wait until it's sleepy. And then crack. Things are not really that hard to... I mean, not really that easy to find. Right, there we go. Now we can go back to Mel. Really? I can't jump over that. Oh, God. Elvish figurine. Oh, correct. Maybe Riddlemaster made this. Looks like things in his rooms. <laughs> Any love? Look, look! What if I could? Uh, what do we offer at mushrooms? Mushrooms. Smeagol doesn't eat them, but now perhaps? Thank you. No mushrooms. I never liked their smell. <laughs> Melly's not nice. Smeagol looked everywhere. His hand stinks of leaves. God, that stinks. You can stop worrying, you know. I didn't ask you anything in that truthling cave. I'm not worried, no. Smeagol has nothing to hide. Shh. There's something up there. We knows that voice. See who's back? Nice bird. Has it looked for help? I don't like the sound of this one. It speaks a strange tongue. Because we taught him, didn't we, my precious? Shh. That one don't have the worth. She scared him. There is something foul about that bird. Where is foul? We will go sleep inside. The elf can stay and watch the moon. <sighs> All right. Escape the creatures. What is this? Run! Oh, hang on, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Do I go through here again? Oh. Oh, they look like, like, like wisp. Whispering, a creature is blocking the path. Oh, nice. Oh, and then I go. It's I shouldn't have used all my stones up now, shouldn't I? <laughs> Close and I like. Nice.
Oh, come on! Did everything perfect there as well. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, nice, I'm getting me stones back. I've just missed the bloody bell. Oh, no, 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 no. Grab the stone. There we go. <gasps> oh. God, it takes off half of your health. Guess that wasn't the way to go. I'm not gonna lie, I cannot really see. I, c I can't see, it's too dark. Right, up there, up there. I'll just fall out of the tree, that's also an option, Gollum. Oh, I didn't even see that. All the vines lit up. I didn't see them the first time. All right, we made it. If they stopped following, how, how did Mel get up here? There was a voice in the air. A voice guided me. I think it was Gwendil. In fact, I'm sure of it. Gwendil? I believe somehow he saw me, protected me. Come, the gate is not far now didn't protect us the breach mm. find the breach Perhaps through the tears Perhaps it was the maze playing tricks on Mel it was him I'm sure of it What's the name of these, my precious? Just plants. There's a lot of following in this game. Now, a glade opens before her. Large tree in the middle. Yes, we are here. The border of our realm. Where's the breach? How do we open it? I don't know yet. Go to the tree in the circle we of stones. a breach. That was her words. And I never said I knew how to open it. We only ever tried to close it. We? There were eight of us. Gwendol was our teacher and mentor. This is where I last saw them. Saw anything. Right here he stood, at the tree, and then he was gone. And the others, dead or worse, and I was blind. Let me think. Gwendol stood here. I was back at the river. The others stood at the six runestones. Each runestone guards one part of the spell. Air, water, circle, binding, mirror, deceit. <sighs> but they had to be called in the right order. If I could only remember who stood at which stone. 
Why does it bring us here if it can't remember most important things? Shh. What is it? The air. It still carries their voices. Don't you hear them? Voices? Close your eyes. Ghosts? Not ghosts. Memories. Echoes. This place still remembers my friends. I can't listen to them. I'm too afraid of what I might hear, but the echoes might lead us. How can whispers lead us? Ignore birds, river, and flowers. Just listen. Breathe in the sense. Can you see them? Yes. I must know what happened to the six that stood at the stones. Look around. Follow them. Tell me what you see. So I'm following the blue path. Broken stuff. This stick has elvish marks on it. That must be Eristor's stuff. It's broken. He must have fled that way before the chaos devoured him. Where does the scent lead you? Is this one of the stones where the elf stood? If you're standing where I think you are, then yes. Any idea? The elf with the staff must have fled from this stone. So this is where Eristor stood? Yes, I think that's right. Three were men and three were maidens. Eristor, Kellen and Dondofer. Prian, Kethel and Turian. Eristor, Kellen, Dondofer, Prian, Kethel, Turian. If I could remember how it all happened, then maybe I'd remember the order of the spell. Right, so... What happened here? Oh, well, we had almost done it. A haze that would forever hide our realm from the eyes of the Mirkwood. But there was one last breach left for us to close, here, at the Enchanted River. And so we did. We all had our part to play. Mine was to calm the river and win her over. But I didn't trust the water. I warned Gwendil, but he wouldn't listen. We closed the breach, but then... All I remember is a glaring light, fair like silk, but unrelenting. When I woke up, there was only darkness and silence. I called their names, called Gwendol, but there was nothing. So you see, I need to find Gwendol. I must. So I need to figure out where all these elves stood. You should look around first. Maybe we can find some clues. This seems like it's going to be hard. Like, where, where do you even begin? something in the water but mel says mel said mel said yes blind elf is such a big help <laughs> now focus can you follow their echoes <laughs> tell me what you think in the tree. Kellon, let's see where it leads us. No, no. No, hold on. No, that is, is that not right? I don't even know. Um. Right. 
Well, there's... So what, have I figured out two now? I don't know, is that right? Looks like one of them jumped into the water here. It must have been their last hope, but the river is treacherous. Now you more broken things. Looks like a knife. Most of us carried him. No signs of Gwendol. <laughs> Nothing. So? No, it's not no, Elf with the boar, is it? Oh wait, hang on. It's going into the water. Isn't it? <laughs> right, I need to get up. I need to get out. Come on. Let me surface. We thinks. Don't have carried a knife like that. <laughs> right, so is is this one here Dondefer? Knife. Dondefer. Yes. Very well. Is that right? I don't even know if I'm putting them in the right the right positions. Um Right, now where else? Right, we've been over that way. Uh, oh no, is it that way we've been? Oh, it's this, we haven't been this way, have we? Oh, isn't this where I came in? Oh. See nothing. Oops. Oh, hang on. Oh, boots. Oh, yes, those are Beturians. She always needed to feel the earth. Where's the bird highlighted? Faces. <laughs> faces. There are faces in the stone. Faces? Cursed elf faces. Looks like two sea elves. They must have tried to hide. Away. Mm, doesn't look like it, but we'll keep looking. Yes, though I dare not hope too much. Hope can be fickle. What's Footprint. the barefooted elf's name again? Turian. Is that another one, Don? <laughs> this is where the barefoot elf must have been. Good. On to the next one. There was two. There was two paths, wasn't there? Along here. What's the barefooted elf's name again? Turian. So what's this way? Did one of them wear feathers? We all did. Well, except Kathy. She had her beautiful braids. So 
So that must be this one. Sea elf with feathers. Mm -hmm. Um, right, where haven't I been? Hello, my little one. Are you hungry? Is he a crow? I never trusted crows. Not a crow? No! Good bird! Arrowheads. The cannon elf, Mr. Mark. Oh no, hang on, have I not... Did I not do this one? Is them arrows not that one that had the bow? I think I already put that one on, didn't I? Knife. Boots. Feathers or whatever that is. Elf with staff. Yeah, that's that one, isn't it? Is that right? So that must leave Kethel, whatever you call Kethel, then. Eristor, Dondefer. I think I've done it. Turian, Kelon, and Kethel. Yes. I think that's where they all stood. Quest, Nen, Gwyleth, Kendril, Ringhorn, Luth. Going to the is path through the hills. This breach door. I hope so. But the woods beyond, they are not. Stay close, you will get lost without me. Oh, let me rest here for a while. <laughs> Tired it looks, yes. Tired and spent. Of course, we can wait. Pity I don't have my eyes now. We can be her eyes. Picture beautiful gardens for her. Then she will see. Yes, she will see. Now, no time for rest. Not now. Yes, now, now, poor blind, lonely elf. We shall be her eyes. I am ready. Make Mel leave. Little Mel to sleep. I'm not gonna. If he's wanting to kill her, I'm but not gonna it's kill not her. Not a nice place. Not at all. Could come to regret not it, but us. no. But the elf would love it. Let me be the judge of that. Is the moon shining now? No, no nice moon, only dark clouds. Looks like rain is coming. You're right. We shouldn't stay much longer. The birds don't seem troubled, though. Tell me about them. Birds, yes, high up in the trees, watching, always watching. Blackbirds, just sitting and watching, all silent. The silent ones I don't trust. Perhaps we should go now. Dark water falling from above. Mel shouldn't stay close to cursed water. Yes, I hear it mocking me. Gwendol should never have asked the river for help. We should probably get going. Well, we won the argument. <sighs> this place is not how I remembered it. Come now, many nice places on the other side. Wait, you mentioned flowers. You didn't picture those. I resist. The entire glade used to be overgrown with them. They must be in full bloom now. Mm, yellow ones, yes. But not very nice. All withered. Not many. I resist. Time is not spent. Iris, Iris has no sense. 
Tico's riddle. We remembers. I remember. Remember what? What if... What if... Mel doesn't need the Riddle Master anymore? Maybe Riddle Master is gone... forever? I heard his voice. A ghost, perhaps. A voice in the wind. But Smeagol's here now. So lucky she met Smeagol. <laughs> We can describe gardens to her. Gardens with flowers. Look! There was irises everywhere. Yellow ones, like here. And there. Night Deagle. And looked up into the sky. No, no, no. Wake up! We didn't do it. It wasn't us. We did nothing! Nothing! You are mad. He tried to steal it. Tried to get away with our precious. Uh, Mel must believe us. She believes us, yes? No. No! Skip the hairs. It's gone. The breach is gone. You, you ruined it. We would have been free. You're weak. You're weak. You're weak. Mel! She doesn't hear you. Nobody hears you. You're alone. <laughs> Go away. It was you! You killed Deagle! You did it! You did! You killed him! Leave me alone! You did it all by yourself! You throttled him! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Treasure! <laughs> This goes on for quite a while. Huh? Unless I'm meant to be choosing paths or something, I don't precious. think I am. I just think you're supposed to run in a straight line. My like, follow precious. the one path. Mel! Where on earth do I go now? I'm still on chapter 8, aren't I? Yeah. I honestly have no idea, like, where I'm meant to go. Do you know what? I'm going to restart the checkpoint. Because I literally don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, you are kidding. Mel! It's gone. The breach is gone. You, you ruined it. We would have been free. You're weak. You're weak. You're weak. Mel! She doesn't hear you. Nobody hears you. You're alone. <laughs> Go 
go away. I don't know where I'm supposed to go oh, when I get out of no. this you. part. You killed Deagle. You did it. You did. You killed him. Leave me alone. You did it all by yourself. You throttled him. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Escape the haze. Well, I did escape it last time I got out. I just didn't know what was supposed to happen after that. Precious. My precious. Mel! Right. Mel! This can't be the other side. What the hell? Now it's triggered a no, cutscene. it's not. <laughs> Finally! We told you you wouldn't get far. Please, Spiegel is good now. Our king has a few questions for you. And wouldn't some answers be sweet? That was so weird how the first time I did that, it didn't um, trigger that part. Without me, eyes are marbles, no dark. Right. This is the start of chapter nine, guys, so I'm gonna leave it there. And then when I come back, we'll we'll replay this bit and we'll watch this cutscene from the start. Um that was so weird. I, I literally don't know why that, that didn't start the cutscene when I came out of that mist. Um never mind. We should know by now that nothing's uh nothing works properly in this game, <laughs> unfortunately. But on the plus side, we did an episode where I didn't die 70 times. So, you know. If there's a silver lining to take, it's that I didn't die a bunch of times. I think I only died, like, what, two, three, four, five times there, something like that. Don't, I feel like I didn't die that many times, so it's a little bonus anyway. But, yeah, we'll leave it here, and then we'll continue Chapter 9 on the next one, guys. So thank you so much for watching, as always. Um, if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel, I'd really, really appreciate it. And I hope wherever you all are, you're having a wonderful day. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone.